Hi, welcome to this transfer service mesh demo. Before we get into this demo, let's have a look at the demo setup. For this demo, we have three Kubernetes clusters across two different sites or regions, all of them onboarded onto TSM. We also have RV NSX ALB, which is configured on both the sites to provide infrastructure load balancing as well as GSLB, with the on-prem site acting as the GSLB leader. Let's start by looking at the TSM dashboard. Here we are looking at the cluster overview page. As we can see, we have three clusters already onboarded across two different sites. To start with, we have already deployed our RACME application, but with a little bit of twist. The deployment has been split across two on-prem clusters. As we can see, most of the services are running on on-prem one cluster, including an internal load generator. But some services of the application like Catalog and its DB backend are deployed on on-prem two cluster. On the third cluster, EKS Cloud, there is nothing deployed. It's a brand new cluster that was very recently onboarded. By the way, onboarding a Kubernetes cluster on TSM is very simple. All we need to do is click onboard a new cluster, give it a cluster name, for example, test, click on generate security token, and then apply a couple of onboarding YAMLs to the cluster. What this does is deploys TSM operator on the cluster, which then calls back home to TSM SaaS, and establishes connectivity on which all the bits and bytes of TSM are pushed onto the cluster and deployed. Once that is done, you can see your cluster on this page. At this stage, under the cluster view, you can look at which services are talking to each other within the cluster by looking at the real-time service graph that TSM provides. You can get more details about your service-to-service -service metrics, like performance indicators at each hop, latency error rates extra, and also specific service-level golden metrics by hovering over the service. We can also click a specific service, for example, shopping, which shows us a spider graph view of all the services shopping is connected. This view also shows all the node level heat map of the nodes where the services have been deployed. This helps in correlating any issues in the service with any underlying infrastructure problems. The performance tab gives us more detailed information about how the service is behaving, including how it's doing with respect to its SLO or how it's reacting to auto scale triggers and so on and so forth. We'll get into details of each of that, but before that, let's look at other configurations that we have done for this demo. As I said, we have RV ALB configured to provide GSLB across two sites, but we can also use Route 53. On the TSM side, all we need to do is under integrations, create an account pointing to the RV GSLB leader. For Route 53, you can add Route 53 account. To add an account is as simple as providing the credentials and access details of RV control. At this point, let's look at our RV setup as we log into the RV controller. And by the way, this is a leader controller we can see. We have RV providing GSLB across two sites. Let's have a look at that. One is on-prem and the other is on the cloud. And this is where our clusters are residing. We can also see that we have delegated a couple of subdomains to GSLB, TanzuServiceMesh.net and TanzuServiceMesh.com. We have also defined SLO for an application. For this demo, we have defined an SLO called Frontend to represent the shopping service of Acme Fitness application. We have set up the service level indicator of P99 latency to be less than 300 milliseconds. And we want these conditions to be satisfied 90% of the time, based on which we calculate the monthly, weekly, and daily error budget. At this stage, we can apply this SLO to the front-end service. We can also assign it to a group of services defined by TSM's service group. But in this case, we are applying it to a specific service, which is shopping. With this, we come to the end of initial configuration and the setup. 